Thank you much, very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for spending uh, all this time with us and for recently uh, spending time with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. I, I learned a lot from, from you and from your time as Secretary. Uh, I appreciate how at the beginning of your remarks today you laid out how in the past there's been this view of get big or get out uh, that has really hurt our consumers and our small farmers and small ranchers. And now we're looking at a more bottom up and middle out uh, philosophy. I also noticed in your testimony we've talked about in past committee meetings how, for example, four uh, corporations controlling over 80% of the beef industry and meatpacking uh, really hurts our consumers in particular. And the question that I have starting for you is, it seems that at four, we have a large amount, enormous amount of co corporate concentration. Would it be even worse if we were at three or at two? Well, obviously. And do you think that it would be a, a helpful exercise for us in this committee as we work on things like the Farm Bill to find ways to better examine and potentially slow down continued concentration so that we don't go for example, from four to three or to two? Well, I, I, I think that's part of it, but I think also uh, something that this committee could do and ought to do is continue to figure out ways in which we can help competition uh, uh, grow. In other words, help small and, and independently owned processing facilities be able to be located in appropriate areas. Uh, so I think it's a combination of, of making sure that Consolidation doesn't occur when it's inappropriate, but also making sure that you're providing financial resources to expand competition. And the reason I ask the question is because I think there's been a good amount of continued conversation and good support for us to say, let's support those uh, smaller operations. Let's make sure that they can make it through. Let's make sure that even on sometimes uneven playing field of corporate concentration, that they can still make it. But I think there's been a little bit less focus on well, this corporate concentration has continued to occur over the years. Um, when does it stop? Could it get worse from in, the, in this one particular area, go from four to three to two? What kind of, I know there's been some number of, of bills and amendments that have been discussed over the years on how we can uh, slow that form of, of corporate concentration. What ideas uh, get kicked around in your department uh, on what the Congress could do to better uh, slow the continued concentration that makes it harder? Uh, for those small farms and small ranchers to keep competing? Well, one of the things that we attempt to do is to try to work closely with our uh, colleagues at the Department of Justice to make sure that they have information and data because at the end of the day, they're the ones who are making the decision about whether or not something makes sense or doesn't make sense, something is uh, anti-competitive or not. But in order for them to make a, a rational decision about that, they have to have data and information, and that's where we come into play. So the ability for us to have information and data that's accurate, that's comprehensive, that's current, becomes incredibly important. So that's one area in particular that I'd focus on in terms of the jurisdiction of this particular committee. I appreciate that. And we'll be, uh, you know, I'm brand new to the Congress, but seen uh, excellent work from uh, Abigail Spamberger and Ro Khanna and Mark Pokan and others uh, on trying to figure out how we can support both the DOJ's work but also USDA's work. Uh, to slow that corporate concentration while we support the, the smaller operators. So thank you for your time. Uh, and Chairman, I yield back the uh, remainder of my time to the ranking member.